What is going on, Apes the Ape Army? I just ran across the article that is a record-breaking FUD. And for anybody that is unaware, FUD stands for Fear, Uncertainty, and Doubt. And quite frankly, what is said in this article is just not true. And they say some outrageously insane things that are flat-out false. So I want to spread the knowledge about this FUD. And for some people that read these articles and actually believe what is being said, this is a video that is really for you. But I think everybody will be shocked of the claims that this guy Sean Williams says in this article some things just um, are out of my realm I can't understand where the logic comes from but we are going to take a look at this article and break it down for you guys so I do think uh, us apes will benefit from hearing the FUD and disproving it so with that being said hit that like button for me and help push this video out to as many apes as possible because some people are actually going to fall victim to this and we got to make sure that doesn't happen and they stay up to date with accurate AMC information. Now, let's get into it, guys. The title of this is what really uh, made me read it in the first place. Opinion. AMC Entertainment's share price is being manipulated. And then I never seen this subtitle, but it says, here's the surprise. Wall Street isn't the culprit. Wow. What a subtitle. But it goes on to say, for nearly six months, retail investors have ruled the ruled the roost on Wall Street. Even though uh, retail investors have been putting their money to work in the market for over 100 years, they've never had such an enormous impact on equity prices as they have in 2021. More specifically, retail investors on Reddit, Twitter, and other social media platforms have been banding together to buy shares and out-of-the-money call options on stocks with very high levels of short interest. The goal for these retail investors is twofold. First, they want to affect a short squeeze, a short-term event whereby short sellers uh, example pessimists betting on a downside in a stock are driven to the exit and second since most short sellers are institutional investors they want to stick it to the suit so to speak obviously that's what we're doing look at the scoreboard it's in the chart we are sticking it to the suits the scoreboard is the chart and that is exactly what is going on first and foremost but it says apes have gone bananas for amc goes on to say uh Though GameStop was a representative of Reddit-based trading for months, it's been replaced by movie theater chain AMC, which has provided a bigger year-to-date return. The army of retail investors who own shares of AMC, collectively referred to as apes, believe that a large short squeeze awaits the stock. AMC has, in fact, seen the number of shares held short increase over the past couple of months. As of June 15, 2021, Morningstar listed 85.08 million shares as held short, relative to a flow of closer to 449 million shares. Goes on to say, in addition to angling for a short squeeze, apes, apes, uh, apes of the opinion that Wall Street is purposely manipulating AMC share price, Pursue any message board and you'll see multiple discussions on dark pool trading of AMC stock, the implication of naked short selling, example shares, uh, sh uh, sh shorted shares of stock that don't exist, and the idea that hedge funds, preferably referred to as the hedgies, are out to bankrupt businesses by shorting them into the ground. This is exactly what has been happening. Dark pool trading has been hap happening. Implication of naked short selling has been happening. Those are two facts that we know for 100% certainty. And this article was only made five hours ago. This guy is out of touch with reality at this point. It says, in other words, AMC retail investors see themselves on a mission to take on Wall Street manipulation. But the kicker is that, manip that manipulation is occurring. However, it's not coming from Wall Street. In my view, it appears that AMC retail investors are the true source of share price manipulation. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Give me a break. <laughs> AMC has been being manipulated, but not by Wall Street. Back in June uh, 1934, the Securities Exchange Act was, uh, was enacted to cover the secondary trading of stocks, bonds, and debentures in the United States. In this 376-page law that governs what is and isn't illegal in the investing world, there's a section on market manipulation. Section 9A, 9A2, state page 87 for those interested. 
it shall be unlawful for unlawful for any person directly or indirectly to effect a loan or with one or more other persons a series of transactions in any security registered on a national securities exchange any security not so registered or in connection with any security based swap or security based swap agreement with respects to such security creating actual or apparent active trading in such security or raising or depressing the price of such security for that purpose of inducing the purchase or sale of such security by others in non-legal this means it's unlawful to try to defraud other investors through actions that would artificially affect the price of an underlying security. AMC investors will tell you they simply like the stock and that buying and holding a company isn't illegal. I agree and so does the law. If AMC investors like the stock, they can buy as much as they want and hold for as long as they like. However, their actions on social media appear to point to an intentional inference of supply and demand for AMC shares. Specifically, Reddit traders are using a combination of hype, purposeful ignorance of fundamental operating data and misinformation to artificially drive AMC share price up higher. Come on, dude. Arto dude, fundamental operation operating data? Are you kidding? We all know and acknowledge this is not a fundamental trade. That just proves this guy is completely lost as marbles. But says, how can I subs substantiate these claims you ask? Just search Reddit or Twitter for posts on AMC. You won't have to look long to find the misleading and bullying tactics used to coerce compliance to what looks like a bona fide yet coordinated pump and dump scheme. AMC is hype insensitivity on social media. To begin with, AMC apes use absurd price targets and post thousands of times daily to social media boards to keep interest high. The most common tactic here is to continue proclaiming that a short squeeze is coming, despite there being no guarantee that one will happen, and to throw out an absurd share price level to keep less informed investors interested. Nobody has ever said, at least on a reasonable basis, that they think AMC stock will go to these prices for a 100% guarantee. Yes, people could speculate, say whatever they want. Who knows what will happen? Everybody knows nobody has a crystal ball and nobody knows what is going to happen. If you don't understand that, that is very important. Doesn't matter what the share price is. We could go to 10, we could go to a million. It doesn't matter. There's no set in stone where we will go. Now, we could put all these factors together that we know factual information and try to come to a reasonable price that AMC stock price could go to. But you have to know, I'm sure most of you guys do know, it's pretty much in every single video that nobody knows. Okay, so that is really up to you guys to uh, figure out for yourself. But. On Twitter, you'll commonly find people trying to get a hashtag variation of AMC 100K or AMC 500K trending. In other words, these folks are trying to make unsuspecting investors believe that AMC is somehow going to run from $2 in January to $100,000 or $500,000 a share. For some context here, $100,000 a share would be a market cap that's well over two times the annual gross domestic product of the United States, while a $500,000 share price would equate to almost three times global GDP, more than $250 trillion. Apple is currently the world's largest publicly traded company at 2.2 trillion market cap. Okay, okay, guys, he literally just said that basically it's impossible to go to 100,000 or 500,000. Obviously, he's not a great investor because anything is possible in the stock market. It doesn't matter, guys. Uh, what is it? The DTCC is insured for like 70 some trillion dollars. Come on now. It can theoretically happen if everybody held their shares. Now, some people, yes, they are misleading with what they say that, that this will actually happen. And some people, if you're newer apes, you just got into the stock market, you may believe that without doing any information or digging or research. But for those people that actually take the time to research AMC and other stocks or invest in the stock market, you know that anything can happen and like i said nobody knows what is going to happen but to put a price cap on it i think uh that is a definitely misguided statement right there says those whimsical price targets may sound harmless but they're a direct attempt to create artificial support with absolutely no fundamental backing yet again no fundamental backing we hear this from all the bears of amc especially the motley fool there's really trying their hardest to spread as much fear and uncertainty and doubt as they possibly can to drive down the share price so their buddy their investor citadel can get out of their short positions without losing currently down 500 million dollars guys that is not a small amount of money they are paid they are paid promoters to spread fud that is the simple factor paid promoters look it up promoters of a stock 
that's what this guy is and that is what the motley fool and other uh, news article outlets are right so don't pay any mind to it but let's continue Efforts to present income statement balance sheet data is stamped out by social media mob mentality. In my view, retail traders are also manipulating AMC share price by using social media strong arm tactics to stamp out any discussion that involves the company's operating performance or balance sheet. And the reason is simple. Presenting income statement or balance sheet data would completely destroy the buy thesis on the company and the uh, manipulators know it. Okay, everybody knows, like, I will say this again, because he says fundamentals over and over and over again. This is not a fundamental trick. Nobody argues the fact that AMC, a book value, as far as revenue, profit margins, expected revenue, it's not a bargain deal, right? If you hold it for a long time, yes, you will make money on this. There is opportunity cost if you invest in something else. Is it worth investing in this on a fundamental basis? We all know that is probably not the case. But we are in this because the fraud and manipulation that we know is going on, the naked short selling, the synthetic shares, everything that we know culminates into one thing. AMC stock is going to short squeeze. Now, not a financial advisor, not a financial planner, so take this video with a grain of salt. I am just giving you guys the factual information that you need to know before you read these bullshit articles that try to bullshit you in the wrong direction because this article is simply FUD and not true on any given metric uh, but it goes on to say any attempts to discuss the company's operating performance or or it's more than 5.4 uh, billion in debt are quickly downvoted on reddit yahoo and other message boards and labeled as fud fear uncertainty and doubt thus the only message that new investors are going to see is the carefully crafted one that paints amc as a short squeeze candidate with no apparent downside and tons of trillions in market cap upside and i will say this again even the biggest amc youtubers we're talking trade trades matt cores they all say that they don't know how high this will go uh, invest at your own risk you know they give you this information to make your own accurate decisions so do i i don't tell you to buy anything i don't tell you to sell anything i'm telling you what i'm doing and presenting facts that is it we're not presenting anything that is not facts on any of these channels you guys watch so at least you have some people in your corner actually giving you accurate information unlike this sean williams guy but but this is never ending confirmation bias doesn't come close to telling the full story while amc has raised enough capital to avert bankruptcy in the near term the company's 2027 bonds are priced nowhere near par which implies that bankruptcy still remains a very real possibility albeit years down the road that's not fud that's a fact okay dude come on now <laughs> come on what's more ticket sales for the movie industry have been a fairly steady 19 year sales decline even if amc is building up its market share the industry has been shrinking on a constant basis and will likely to continue grow smaller streaming and film exclusive exclusivity work against amc furthermore the company isn't profitable and burned through 324 million in cash in just the first quarter this is important information uh, that investors should know if they still want to invest in amc that's fine but purposely suppressing and hiding concrete facts from unsuspecting investors while upvoting what's essentially hype driven propaganda doesn't allow people to make informed investing decision oh dude oh my god i wish i could be in the same room with this guy and tell him how i really feel but let's keep going misinformation misinformation and lies are the foundation of this movement now he's just getting super bold however the most egregious sign of manipulation can be seen in the way amc ape spread misinformation to further this pump and dump scheme below are some examples you regularly see as why they are not true come on ape saved amc false AMC saved itself by issuing hundreds of millions of shares on high interest debt earlier this year. False. That's not true. We saved AMC. We are the company. We own 80 to 90% of the total shares. We saved the company. If we hadn't stepped in, nobody else would have stepped in. These short sellers would have kept naked short selling the stock into the ground till it was literally sub a dollar. We were at $2 per share. This stock was going bankrupt if we didn't step in. They would have to issue a, too many shares to stay alive it just wouldn't have happened so congratulations we did save the company this guy is out of his damn mind goes on to say hedge fund shorting bankrupts companies false short sellers and buyers are just folks hoping for different ho hoping for different outcomes the outcome is ultimately determined by the operating performance of the business no matter how many shares institutional investors short they can't drive a company into bankruptcy anybody telling you otherwise is lying to you now he just lied to everybody that reads this article because they can and they do and it has happened 
in the past many many times especially when a company does fall in hard times especially with the roni roni and there was nothing they could do about it they were shut down by the government the only thing they could have done is issue more debt or issue more shares and once you drive the share price down so low there's no way to issue money. It's, it's, it's gone. That potential is gone. That's how you bankrupt these companies. So he's just quite frankly lying in that paragraph. Now, hedge funds control MSM. False. AMC retail investors want you to believe that every institutional investor is evil, and that is constant David versus Goliath battle. The fact is hedge funds don't control the mainstream media. This misinformation that retail investors pursue uh, to keep less informed investors in line, that is simply not the case as well. We know there's pay per motors we know these news outlets they have an interest in making amc share price go down they're not doing it to look out for your best interest right hedge funds line your pockets false apes also regularly claim that any journalist analyst writer television personality and so on who doesn't precisely see eye to eye with them is being paid off by the hedge funds or as hedge fund connections again this is a defense mechanism to portray the you us versus that mentality that's needed to keep this pump and dump scheme going for one it's not a pump and dump scheme we all know what it is a pump and dump scheme really is not what amc is a pump and dump scheme is literally people uh paying right investors bag holders that want to stock to go up paying people to talk good about a stock pumping it up and then dumping out of it that is a pump and dump and amc is the furthest thing from a pump and dump we're not seeing a dump we seen the pump we're not seeing the dump amc short sellers they hate that media hates that uh, the fact that we're doing better than this guy or that next guy that's making these articles they want you to have this fud fear uncertainty and doubt but Fundamentals don't matter. False. The operating performance and balance sheet of a company always matters. If you don't think they do, go go talk to the Wall Street Prime Group shareholders who saw half their investment evaporate overnight when the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on June 13th. Washington Prime had been touted by Reddit traders for its high short interest potential just hours before its bankruptcy filing. Sure, yeah, if you go bankrupt, it's going to have a negative impact on the stock. We all get that. AMC is not going bankrupt. Big, big difference between these two companies. Companies. Now, now, fundamentals matter for the long term. If you're investing in this for a long time and you want to see the company grow, you, you think it's undervalued right now, that's why you'd invest in it. We don't think that. We think that we want to see the short squeeze and the hedgies are going to lose a shit ton of money. That is what is going to happen. We all know this. That is why this whole article is nothing but FUD. And once I read this, I had to bring it to you guys to try to clear the air. So especially, like I said, a lot of new apes don't get fooled by this. That is going to wrap up this video. If you like what was provided to you in the video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel and check out the links down below in the description. There is a link for public, no deposit necessary, no need to even link a bank account. And you get your free stock immediately. No matter what time of the day it is, you get it immediately. And they do not route your order flows to companies like Citadel. The only other brokerages that do not are Fidelity, Merrill Lynch, and then Public. So if you guys are not signed up with that, that is free money it takes you literally like three minutes to do so you might as well do that as well as there's a link for Weeble. deposit a hundred dollars get four free stocks each of them potentially worth up to twenty four hundred dollars that is free money as well and there's actually a setting in Weeble where you can turn off the ability for Weeble to lend your shares out without you knowing about it so that is a great thing nobody wants their shares being lent out basically behind their back and i do have a link for the buy and sell alerts they pay for themselves and we have been killing it over there as well as join a great community so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoy the video until next time i will see you later take care